isolated queen pawn positions are a great thing to know as a chess player. You will get these kind of positions with both colors uh, throughout your career unless you play very weird openings. It is uh, part of the Queen's Gambit, uh, Queen's Gambit accepted, Karokan, pan of attack, uh, different kind of terrace uh, variations and semi terrace and so on. And uh, understanding uh, these positions and getting to, to know them and play them well is very important if you want to become a strong player. All grandmasters uh, understand these positions very well. Uh, today we will look at uh, when white gets to add the queen to the attack. We have seen the rook lift where you get to remove the rook to the usually third or fourth rank and adding power to the attack on the king. And uh, today we're going to see that the queen is also a big uh, thing for the attacker and preventing the queen from coming to the queen side, the king side is can be very uh, important. Uh, in this game, from uh, from the uh, it's a it's a 30 year old game, but it's a it's a kind, of, kind of a classic, and it shows a lot of uh, the most important themes in this structure. So let's get on with it. Uh, Maxim Glocky is white, and Limbit All, who's unfortunately is no longer with us, uh, is black. And we have transposed into the so-called Panoff variation or attack, and or someone call it Panoff Botvinnik attack, and uh, you can play this against the Karakan. And it's a serious opening, for sure. Uh, knight c3, knight c6, and this is, I think, also at the moment the critical variation against the Panoff. And White has usually two moves here. Bishop d5, adding more pressure on d5, or uh, knight f3, just uh, developing. Uh, Blagi plays uh, c takes d5 first, knight takes, knight f3, and here uh, the main move would be bishop g4, I think. And this is probably the best move in this position, getting the bishop out. It might sometimes lead to trouble on the white squares on the queen side, but in general, you would love to have this bishop out before it's shut in. Instead, he played e6. This is also a normal move in this position. And bishop d3, this is where you want your bishop. Uh, this square, all this square. Here, uh, from this diagonal, it attacks uh, h7, which is of course important in uh, when white, black castles, queen side, king side, which he will generally do. Bishop b4, you could play if you play bishop e7 is is uh, known as uh, the semi terrace variation. Bishop b4 is now also still in the Panoff uh, variation because you don't usually get this. You can also get this from the Nimso Indian actually. Bishop d2. Queen c2 is another line involving a pawn sacrifice. And castle, castle, knight f6, uh, maybe hitting here. a3, attacking the bishop. Bishop go back. And bishop e3, which is a little bit passive, um, you could say. Uh, but but it's of course playable and white gets to uh, to to get his position b6 black is planning to to put the bishop here where and the bishop is in generally very good in this diagonal it's also controlling the vital d5 square we have seen earlier that the um, the push d4 d5 is an important uh, weapon in white's armor or artillery or what you call it. Rook e1 and we also seen that the ideal setup is with the rook on d1 and e1. That's the most aggressive and whites generally go after the king. It is sometimes possible to actually attack on the queen side. We will see that in a later video in this series but as a rule white is more interested in the center and the king. And bishop c2. We also seen this move before. The idea is very simple: to go queen d3, 
and, and maybe d5 or bishop d5 and hitting down here with the battery. Knight a5, and that's probably wrong. That's probably a mistake. Uh, because after knight e5, and here maybe I think black should try and go back. Simply play knight c6 and, 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 and ask the, the, the knight what, 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 is, what it's doing. Because, but it might play knight d4, I don't know. Uh, anyway, the thing is, uh, after rook c8, queen d3, there is some serious pressure here. Uh, and what black really wants to avoid is the rook or the queen coming to the king side. This is something you're always afraid of. And putting a knight on a5 might have allowed that because after queen c, and here, whenever this uh, battery uh, comes, uh, black should in general play g6. But here, bishop h6 and queen h3 looks very scary. There's also, when, uh, for instance, some like this here, sometimes this can be a big problem. But here, I think white would just play uh, queen a3 and threaten to take here. And if black takes back with the king, then queen takes e6 is checkmate. And this is a very common thing so be, be wary of this queen c7 i think black is already in some trouble because bishop g5 g6 and here comes the queen and uh, black straight white threat is very simple he's, he's threatening to play uh, bishop h6 and knight takes f7 and uh, and it's very 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 difficult to meet uh, this knight d5 bishop h6 bishop moves let's just see it and boom and uh, it's all over this this is a very nice and very common mate that you should be aware of. So after queen a3, black is already in very serious trouble. And also white is already, even though it's not threatening, it might be threatening something, but even something like this here is extremely unpleasant. Uh, white is, is might be threatening something like this and here. And, and this is, is under attack, and how you're going to defend that, it's, it's not very clear. So this is definitely almost unplayable for black. He tried knight d5 and bishop h6, and well, took here, but black can, white can just take uh, the exchange. There's no... Um, that's not, and that's the problem for, for black, that if, if he gets some serious compensation for the exchange, that would be nice, but he doesn't. He, why this is attack is still going. Uh, the king here is in trouble, and, and the knight here is not doing anything. Queen takes, and here white has a strong move. This is also a common theme and something you should be very uh, clear about. When the queen is here, the knight takes f7 is almost always on the card with the knight on e5 because there's also the pawn on uh, h7 that's hanging. And he had to take uh, because you don't want the knight to go back to g5 hitting e6 and h7. So take rook 81, getting the vast rook, threatening uh, this... Uh, check and threatening here and threatening here and it's well it's not much fun queen f6 take check check and this is smart and this is a typical uh, thing that happens here some like this is the problem and bishop to rook takes e6 And, well, we went with the king, bishop f5, and we see that we have, uh, that even though material-wise uh, black is okay, he's not okay, because uh, the king will not survive this. And this knight that went on the rim is dim. Rook e3. Mm -hmm. Make 
keep going to d3 and d7, maybe go to d3. d3 is very annoying. e6, queen d8, adding more firepower. Still rook d3 might be on the card. Now there's also a check here. That's pretty unpleasant. And, well, you can say that, of course, it went wrong for black. So, just one wrong move, knight a5, and the queen was somehow allowed to join the, the king side for an attack, and it became very strong. Just that's it. And black should definitely be very much on the lookout, very much on the lookout to avoid any of the heavy pieces getting to the, the king side because the white attack will be too strong. Here, of course, it's, yeah, you could also resign. And uh, there's a thread here, and there's a thread here, and, well, it's not much fun, right? Uh, so, black resigned. And this was poor Limpid all suffered from a depression, who lost this, this game. Um, so, what did we learn here? We learned that getting the king, queen into the attack is a very serious threat that you should take very, you should be afraid of with when you are playing against the isolated queen form. You should definitely uh, be on the lookout for this because it will, uh, <laughs> the attack will be too strong. As white, you are looking to get those pieces into the attack. Especially the rook lift, but also getting the queen just to ace squares like this and here are really, really dangerous. And suddenly all kinds of sacrifices are looming over the black king. And if you go back, we see that here the queen is actually far away from, from the king side. Uh, so black should be, be preparing for, for it uh, and, and try to avoid it coming. Anyway, you can play rook e8 was a move. That's interesting, uh, queen d6 or something, um, but definitely avoiding knight e5 and queen coming to h3 or h4 would have been smarter. Uh, this was GM Talks with another episode in the isolated queen pawn structure. Thank you for watching.